Now my plan for today was to film an unboxing and review video for the 2019 Rad Rover. Unfortunately, I ran into a problem with the bike that I'll have to come back to. But since it's Tool Tuesday, that leads me into this e-bike testing device. I decided that was a good time to introduce this little gadget and show you what it can do. Normally, if you have a problem with an electric bike, the simplest thing to do is replace a component with a new one. Say if you suspect the throttle is bad, you put in a new throttle. If the problem goes away, you know that was it. But what if you don't have another throttle or you don't have another brake switch or a motor or a controller or one of those other things? Because odds are, if you have an e-bike, you don't have all of those spare parts lying around. Well, if you have one of these, it turns out you don't need to do that. You can actually just plug the component directly into this device and test it and then know if it's working, one, without needing a spare, and two, without risking damaging any new parts by potentially connecting it to something that's bad. Let me show you how this works. I have a Bafang hub motor here. I have an adapter to go to the more generic cable that is on this tester. But let's say I wanna test the hall sensors. I don't need to have this hooked up to anything. I can find the label right here that says motor hall sensors. I can plug that one connector in and turn this little device on. It has a nine volt battery inside. And you can see some lights have come on right here next to the motor function. And if I just spin the motor over, I will get some different lights. Let me grab this with both hands so I can show you what it should do. So for hall sensors to work properly, those lights should turn on in an organized fashion where you get one, two, one, two, one, two. Basically, they're rotating through a very specific pattern. So I know just by rotating this hooked up to this device that my hall sensors are all perfectly good. Now, if I wanted to test the phase lines for the motor, I could do the same basic thing. We find where it says motor phase lines. We have three alligator clips, which they are already color coded to the same things that come on the motor cable. And we can turn that on, and then we can go ahead and spin the motor again. Now it's real hard to see this one, unfortunately, but when I spin this quickly, you can see a very bright flash on these three LEDs. That tells me that those are all connected and also working properly. This morning I had someone bring in a bike that wasn't working, weren't sure what was wrong with it, and in that case, one of the brake switches was causing the bike to not turn on. So here you can see I've connected a brake and I can pull that and it switches on and off. So I know that the brake switch is working. Now I have a throttle connected to those three pins instead and you can see as I push the throttle, I have an indicator telling me that that's working as well. So that gives you a basic idea of how this thing works. Basically, you just look on the end of this, find the appropriate label for what you need to plug in, and see if it lights up the LEDs where you need them to. Not very difficult at all. In fact, this is easier, in my opinion, than trying to work with a multimeter and get readings and figure out where to put pins, because in some cases, you can just plug it in, or in others, you just clip it on to the right colored leads and see if the lights light up. Thanks again for watching another video of mine. I hope you liked this and it was helpful. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Now, one last final note on this. Uh, I haven't found anybody in the US stocking them yet. If you guys are interested in having these available in the US so you can get them easily, please leave a comment on this video and let me know if this is something you'd like me to stock. Not gonna make any guarantees, but if there's enough interest, I'm happy to bring these over for you. Thanks again, I'll be back again soon. And I almost forgot, of course, this is another new t-shirt that I have. So go check it out online if you wanna buy one of these. And once again, as usual, leave a comment because it's a new shirt. I will randomly pick someone from the comments to win one. Thanks again.